don't like being over dramatic about things. I don't like uh, bitching. I don't like complaining. I don't like any of that kind of BS in the videos coming out of my mouth ever. Uh, I just got off the phone with the general manager from the Columbus team in the FHL, Columbus River Dragons or GM. And he told me that apparently the entire league's immigration did not get passed through. So what that means basically is I'm going to play pro hockey in a professional hockey league, the FHL. Some people have opinions on whether the FHL is pro hockey or not. Regardless of the fact, I'm going down to work and to get paid to play hockey down there. Without immigration, you can't get a visa. And without immigration, you also can't live there. And without a visa, you cannot work in the United States. I'm a Canadian citizen, so that poses the problem. I can't go down and live there. I can't go down and work there. On the bright side, I did just get off the phone with a scout uh, from a southern Sweden team uh, who's possibly interested in bringing me out sometime within the next month uh, to Sweden to play. I feel like lately there's almost been something every single day happening that's not great as far as my career goes getting cut by the University of Manitoba, signing to play hockey somewhere far away. There's so many things that are constantly changing and constantly in motion, I feel like lately. Uh, and I'm not kidding you, these are the only options that I have right now. So if this doesn't work out in Columbus, I don't have a backup option right now. Everything has been exhausted. So if this does not work out, I'm not playing hockey this year and I don't have any collegiate options left because school's already started. Pro hockey, gonna be very, very difficult to kind of get any options at this point in time. If I don't get paid to play down there, I'm technically okay to come there as a, a visitor, as an amateur, shall we say. All right, so I can go down, I can play, I can not get paid by the team, so technically I'm not working in the States, but I am making these videos that, from back home here, are making me money and support my living and all my expenses, my rent, my groceries, uh, gas, all that stuff that I'm gonna need to survive down in Georgia, which is also 3,000 kilometers away from Winnipeg. Now, right now I'm back in the gym three, four days a week, it's hard to get ice, like I mentioned in the previous video from a couple days ago. Everybody's at their college who's playing collegiate hockey. Everybody's in junior playing junior with their junior clubs. Everybody's at pro hockey, that's in real pro hockey, uh, at higher levels at their camp. So only guys that are really in the FHL and maybe the SPHL right now are not in camp and are actually available to skate. But there's not a lot of guys like that in Winnipeg, so it's very difficult right now for me to find ice time. So I'm going to a stick and puck. I'm going to a stick and puck literally just to work on some movement, trying to clean up a couple things. And that's the plan for the day. So I'm gonna show you the ice time from the stick and puck, a couple highlights, short highlights of some movement. I would like to do a Q&A again. I uh, got some awesome YouTube related questions about how YouTube works and, and my career on YouTube and my path with YouTube, all that stuff. If you don't like YouTube related questions, you don't care about that, you don't wanna see me do the stick and puck, come back Wednesday, come back Friday, come back Monday, whenever the next video is. Uh, you're not hurting my feelings if you're not watching this one because it's not the end of the world. There's other videos, I suggest you come back and watch those because those are also awesome. Now, off to the ice time. Let's do this Q&A. I'm not exactly happy with the ice time. My movement sucked. I wasn't feeling it today. Let's do the Q&A. The audio sucks for the Q&A because it was super windy outside. I'm pissed. Jesus. Brandon McLean underscore 16. What were your favorite videos to make for YouTube? I like the travel videos. I like traveling to go play hockey somewhere interesting, somewhere different, try out videos. That kind of stuff. I like making reviews too, those are always kind of fun. Venmo.93, ever gonna make goalie compilation videos again? Probably not, actually I will say I will probably never ever make them again. I like making original stuff. I take a lot of pride in being creative and coming up with my own ideas and the goalie montage days were just stuff that I'm not really proud of anymore. For those of you that don't know, I used to make videos with NHL goalie highlights comprised with various copyright music. It was pretty popular for a while, then I switched to doing stuff like this. Mruz456, did you start YouTube with the goal of growing it big or was it a hobby that grew over time? I originally started YouTube with the compilations because I couldn't find any compilations that I liked. 
Uh, that slowly evolved into not having enough computer space in my hard drive, so I put them on YouTube. Those ended up growing. I wanted to do something original. I started doing original videos, and here we are four years later with the original videos, and I'm lucky enough where it's a primary source of income. Going gear track here, will we be seeing daily videos or weekly videos? Uh, daily videos, I don't think are great for this kind of niche, like for hockey videos. I think three to four videos a week is perfect. And that's what we're on right now. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning. Do you come up with your intro songs in your videos or not? No, this is all music from Epidemic Sound. Although I do play guitar and sometimes I'll squeak in stuff of me actually playing. For the most part, it's all the songs that I get off Epidemic Sound. What is the future plan for your YouTube channel and the videos? Uh, future plan is to kind of keep doing what you know makes me happy. I like making these videos, talking about my hockey, talking about gear, talking about just my overall passion for the game. And I want to keep doing that until that kind of burns out. But I don't see it burning out anytime soon. So hopefully we'll stick with that for a while. Will you ever do merch? I don't want to do merch for one reason. I don't need you buying t-shirts, buying sweaters, buying all that kind of garbage. I want you watching the video buying into an identity, into a lifestyle, into a brand idea and an image of this is what it takes to play hockey. We're all about hockey. We're all about the love of the game, all that kind of stuff. You don't need to buy t-shirts with my face on it or my name on it. It's literally just a bunch of propaganda that I don't want to do. More collabs with Pat Shea and other YouTubers. I'm all down for other video ideas. Uh, I love making videos with other guys that are passionate about filmmaking as well like Pat Shea, like Sam from the Puck Stops here, Wayne the video goalie. A little happy retirement to Wayne. If somebody's making videos, they're doing a good job, and they want to make a video together, I'm 100% down. What kind of schedule can we expect for uploading videos over the next coming months? Three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning, usually at 6 a.m. Eastern time. Finding that is a sweet spot so you can expect a new video in your subscription box every day at that time, well on those days at least. Final question, mb.ptv, would you ever consider doing a tour like a cross Canada tour playing uh, with fans? Traveling costs a lot of money, I'd rather reinvest that money into trying to find different avenues and opportunities in my own hockey, gear for different videos. Totally unnecessary, at least at this point in time. And that will conclude today's Q&A video. Okay, so I have a very interesting story for you. So there's a guy by the name of Ted, and if you follow anything that I post online, you probably have a pretty good understanding that I take a lot of shit online, I get shirked quite a bit, and I take a lot of flack for just about everything I do. So one guy by the name of Ted loves to trip the shit out of me online. I actually find it pretty funny. Believe it or not, one of the guys actually in the LA Kings tryout video, Brucey, this guy. What's up, buddy? Nice to meet you, man. We make out or? He actually used to trip me all the time. We ended up becoming good friends out of it. Went for Burger King in the LA Kings video because we're good buddies. Burger King with Trav Oilers. So this guy by the name of Ted chirped me all the time. I took the initiative to say, hey, I appreciate your chirps. Some other kid came into my defense by the name of Ian. Teddy, give you a butt ends grip on the house. Teddy says, I don't want the grip, give it to Ian. So uh, this kid, Ian, sending him out a butt ends grip. Ian, thank you very much for the support of the channel. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the butt ends grip. We'll be sending that off right away. SilentSwap.com is an awesome place where you can buy, sell any pro return, new use sport equipment of any sport of any kind. I get paid a very hefty sum every month to tell you about the website and to tell you to go there. I'm doing exactly that. Brand new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and more ads to follow. Go to the website. I'll see you then.